If you're a guy like me, when it comes to the subject of work and play, just two sides of the same button. But no matter what I'm doing, I like to make sure I look sharp while doing it. That's why, when I go suit shopping, I look for the ones with the little gold buttons. When you buy a Lorelier suit, you're not just buying a suit, you're buying a promise. A promise of comfort and durability. Just look for the little gold buttons. I must say, Mr. Minister, I'm sorry for another commotion at Gossip Place. You better damn well be, Peck, after accusing me of something like that in my own home. Well, but you me... had it at Mr. Minister. Well, Mr. Minister, it's funny you should mention that. The bottom of the home, I mean. What do you mean? Well, considering the fact that this isn't your home. All right, I've had enough, Mr. Minister. Would, would you kindly fetch me those papers on the table? Right now? And, uh, Mr. Minister, would you kindly finish me? Indeed, Mr. Minister, you didn't buy this house. But it shows I feel that your business model, the man did. Well, he handles all the finances in the partnership. Well, that's your statement, Mr. Minister. The partnership. See, I don't think you build on the building, no. It makes no sense. Do you have no motive to destroy the office of the man who pays your bills? No. But that leaves me thinking, who would want to do something like this? And frankly, I'm hacking my brain. I'm coming up empty. But that was of course until I noticed something. The minister's wife jacket. You better be going somewhere good with this. Of course it wasn't the minister's wife jacket that was peculiar. It was always meant. You see, I noticed the silver white handkerchief falling out of the jacket's pocket. When I went to tuck it in, I spotted something. A pair of initials that was not belonging to Mrs. Blackwood. Naturally, I get a little suspicious, and I go to question her on the matter. But when, at last, I find her in the pantry, she's not alone. No. In fact, I catch the butler kissing the minister's wife. <gasps> So please, go on, Detective. Do you have any way of proving this fortunate series of coincidences? Thank you, Mr. Winslow. As of right now, I do not. He's a liar! However, I'm willing to wager if you search Mr. Hope's pockets right now, you will find something quite interesting. It's a handkerchief! Not just any. I'm quite sure if you compare it to the one stashed in Mrs. Blackwood's pockets, you'll find they're quite the same. <gasps> All right, Detective, that's another bold accusation. Why don't you tell all of us where you're going with this? Oh, I will, Mr. Hood. See, what I believe is that you, Mr. Hood, are in love with the minister's wife. <gasps> Naturally, you want him out of the picture. So what do you do? Well, to kill him, too messy. Bribe him? With what? So what do you do? You frame him. Turn down his office in the dead of night. Make it look real suspicious. Make yourself a little alibi. It's the perfect crime. And do you have any evidence for any of this? As a matter of fact, I do. But not against you, Mr. Ruth. Against the minister. <gasps> as fortunate as it, I found this at the scene of the crime. <gasps> the minister's wallet. That's impossible. How could you even know it belongs to me? Impossible? No. You see, Mr. Minister, inside this wallet, I found a business card of a client number on the back for the funds oh, cost for the company. Doing my due diligence, of course. I paid them a little visit. Inquiring why I hang into attached? the client attached. I was directed to these. I can direct you to these. These, Mr. Minister, are ownership records in your name to your various properties. I told you I was innocent. I submitted those files for it. Last week, I submitted the paperwork for this very house. It was a minister. He did it. He wanted the insurance payout. Indeed, you did submit these files, Mr. Wood. And this was your biggest mistake yet. And what is that supposed to mean? Well, you see, Mr. Hood, these are fake files. Fake files made by you. And how do you figure that, detective? Well, there's one thing you didn't catch in your haste. There are not many purchase documents. Because the minister never purchased the house. The mayor did. <gasps> what? Did the butler really burn down that building? And did he leave the minister's wallet at the scene of the crime to frame him? All these questions and more will be answered on the next episode of How Bitter is Lady Carla.